Some people in Mayfield lost everything in the December tornadoes, including a special needs teacher. How he's coping day to day and what gives him strength as he teaches some students who also lost their homes. It's not easy to rebuild your life. I'm just a guy who got lucky. When you've lost everything. I didn't do anything special. I'm not a hero. I walked out of a place I shouldn't have walked out of. John Shell's life and many others changed in an instant on December 10th. We hear the sirens, everything goes off. But you know, how many times do you expect a tornado? Shell's apartment was on the second floor. The train noise keeps getting louder. All of a sudden, now debris is flying. A couple of seconds later, now buildings are starting to tear apart and fly. He says he saw the tornado outside his window. So I just hit the ground. What seemed like 20 minutes later was probably three seconds because I was just didn't know what to do. The ceiling fell on me. I'm thinking, well, I'm covered now. Just don't move anymore. Just don't get up because I can hear things flying all the way across the apartment. I had a couple of scrapes on my leg and a bump on my head. That's it. Yeah, they're fine. Daylight shows what's left of his belongings. You can see debris everywhere, some clothing and bedding scattered, even where the roof was ripped off. Everything that I owned is just either blowed out every window or it's strewn. You know, I had a TV in the front. It went straight out through the double windows, which is a huge gash in the wall. Bricks, wood and metal. This is all that's left of Shell's apartment complex. It was damaged by the tornado and has now been demolished. And you'll see piles like this all over Mayfield as crews are still cleaning up. Shell didn't have renter's insurance and didn't know what to do after surviving the tornado. I've been very emotional. You know, I haven't talked to anybody about it. If we can find anything at all, we're salvaging but I probably need to seek professional help a little bit to, to come to grips with it. It's, it's just, I don't know. But Shell never expected what happened next. Where do I start? Immediately, people started getting, getting a hold of me because they knew where I lived. What, what do you need? What can we do? I don't know. I don't know what I need. For a person who helps so many, his community is now helping him. People are just giving so much. I'm taking myself aback because it's just, you gotta, you smile and you just have a warm feeling in your heart. So there you go. It's, it's, it can be tough. Shell is a football coach for Graves County High School. What are they called? And a special needs teacher at Graves County Middle School. Can we get that written down? Some of his students lost their homes too. The outpouring from everyone is just, I don't know, it restored my faith. I'm a bit of a cynic, but it restored my faith in, in people again and what they're willing to do and what they're willing to give up just to help someone like me. From money. Our youth services and our tornado relief fund gave me about another $500 the other day. They're gonna help me buy like a bed for my daughter's room. To a car. Our booster club, they got together and handed me a car. Not a new car, it's, it's a used car, but it gets me from point A to point B. And they just handed me the title and said, hey, don't worry about it, it's yours now. Even retired Mayfield High School football coach and former offensive coordinator for the University of Kentucky, Tony Franklin, helping too. Franklin setting up the Mayfield Cardinal Strong GoFundMe page, raising nearly $28,000. He handed me $500 in cash. For former football players and people he coached with, like Shell. He said, that we're, we're doing really good things helping people just like you, John. So you're a good guy, you help people all the time, and you know, you deserve it. People like you deserve it. And former football player turned coach Alonzo Daniel. It's been a blessing. Um, I, 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 I know it would, it would have been difficult for all of us to, to get to this point where we are now without the help of people like Coach Franklin and other people in the community as well. I mean, just. His brother was Deputy Jailer Robert Daniel, who was killed inside the candle factory while getting others to safety. Through this tragedy, both men say they're thankful. How has what you've gone through helped you be a teacher and help what some of your students have gone through? Well, here's, here's the difference. Some of the kids I've taught in the past, some in this room, they, they go through so many hardships on a daily basis. Shell's saying he now has a better understanding of hardship and a new appreciation for living your best life. I've been humbled and I've 
not a very humble person if you talk to any of my friends or my coworkers. But this is just, it's just over the top.